Hello, welcome to another Open Geospatial uh, tutorial. In the last video, I showed you how to add uh, 100 plus XYZ uh, Thai services, base maps to QGIS. And uh, based on the suggestion uh, from the community, I uh, have added uh, 200 plus WMS base maps, uh, the, uh, web map services uh, to QGIS as well to the script. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's very much similar to what we did last time, but uh, you're going to have access to a lot more uh, base maps. So what you need to do is to go to this uh, GitHub repository and um, click this QGIS uh, base map top high from here. Download this one to your computer. So click the download raw file and then uh, download to your computer. So once you have the script, then you can open QGIS. So I'm going to open QGIS here. And um, once it's loaded up, then we can uh, create an empty base map here. Then click this icon, the Python icon. From here, it's going to open up the Python console. Then click this button to show the editor. And then on the right here, uh, it's going to pop up the Python editor. Click this uh, open folder icon to open this one on the computer and then navigate to where you downloaded this uh, Python script. So I'm going to load this one and then just click. So after that, uh, you just click this button here to execute, to run the script. So it, uh, it's going to take a couple uh, seconds so because uh, this, I think overall over like 300 base maps. So it's going to take some time to loop through the script uh, to add of them. So just be patient. And after that, uh, it, once you see the message, all base map have been added, please restart QGS. And so I'm going to close here. Then you can restart QGS. And once it's loaded up, then you should have access to all the base maps. So I'm going to show you here on the left side, uh, you should see XYZ base maps. So these are, uh, I think, 100 plus base maps are available. So for example, I can open maybe uh, uh, Google Maps, for example, right? And you can check any other base map, the open topo map, for example, uh, open topo map, right? So it depends on the internet. Sometimes it might take a couple seconds to load up because not all the uh, web map services are in the uh, EPAG 3857. So sometimes you might need to do some conversion on the fly. But once you have that, uh, so these are the XYZ base map uh, services. The next one is WMS. So if you look at the whole list of uh, web map services in here, uh, I have added all pretty much all the uh, WMS base map from uh, USGS. So if you're interested in knowing where do they come from, uh, you can just type USGS uh, National Map Web uh, Services and click this link here. It's going to take you to this base map. So it took me some time to actually uh, go through all the list and just need to uh, copy this one. And then at the end, I created this uh, CSV file. So if you click this CSV file here, these are all the uh, USGS base map. I also added, uh, for example, NLCD, EOX maps, and also TerraScout. Uh, these are from uh, Europe. And these are also very nice base maps uh, if you need some like global scale base map. So for the US, most of those are focuses on the, uh, the, the, the US, but it's still very useful. Uh, and again, you're welcome to check out the uh, national map uh, services for more information. So make sure that you follow the terms of services of those providers, uh, don't abuse them. Once you have this, so let me try out some of those. For example, I can take a look at the uh, NLCD land cover. So this is the national cover uh, link, uh, national land cover database from the UHS. So uh, you can take a look at, for example, the corners. We have land cover from 2001 all the way to 2021. So if you double click on any of the data layer, again, you might need to be patient. So some of the layers are pretty fast. Some of the layer might take a couple seconds. And see, once it's loaded up, so now we have this. Uh, NLCD base map. Uh, this is 30 meter resolution based on lens data. Uh, pretty nice. So if you're interested in, you can um, uh, check out this data set. Uh, let's explore another one. For example, UAG 3 d elevation. So this one is the uh, 3D uh, digital elevation program. So it's one meter resolution and it's very high resolution. So for example, I can take a look at this uh, hue shape, multi-directional uh, hue shape imagery. And again, it covers the uh, entire US, a one meter resolution. So it's the highest uh, resolution 3D available, data set available. It's pretty high, so you need to zoom in very, um, it might take some time to lower again. It's um, not, the projection is, the, is different from the base map that you are showing. It might need to do some conversion on the fly. So that's why it's kind of slow, but uh, you get the idea. So you can do the street elevation, so similarly, I can take a look at this one. For example, the USGS uh, Street Elevation Index. 
So this one shows you the coverage, for example, are the uh, UAGS. Okay, so it shows up very nice. See the base map here. So I'm going to take a look at the one meter resolution uh, elevation cover. So this one can show you, for example, in the US, uh, which part of the US has been covered by the high resolution uh, elevation data set. So it uh, looks like we have maybe 60, 70% of the data set uh, area being covered. And also we have the, for example, the uh, UAGS name imagery. So this is also very high resolution. Uh, for example, the covering the entire US. So we have data set uh, one meter resolution every two to three years. So take a look at this one. This is super, super high resolution. So you can zoom in to uh, anywhere you, you like and you get sub meter resolution uh, for the entire US. And so this is Las Vegas. So you can continue to zoom in. This is uh, all freely accessible. Right now it's just using the base map, but you can actually um, download the original data set to do all kind of mapping or uh, machine learning. So super high resolution for free. And maybe the last one. Okay, I can also show you the ND, ND, um, NDVI. So this is the normalized uh, vegetation index, uh, also freely available. So uh, take a look at this. Uh, really nice. And uh, lastly, I will want to show you a couple more data set. Uh, for example, the um, uh, EOX maps. And so these are also some, for example, if you need uh, cloud free composite, for example, uh, from Sentinel 2, uh, you has data set from 2016 all the way to 2023. So this is also a nice data set uh, if you like on the global coverage. Again, super high resolution. Uh, compared to the UAGS, only covering just the US. Uh, the UAGS base map, this is covering the entire US. Uh, covering the entire globe. So uh, you're welcome to check it out for other regions uh, of the globe. And uh, very nice. If you just need some base map, uh, a set base map, this can be uh, useful. Also, the other one I'll highlight is the uh, Terrascope. So here. This one is uh, has produced the uh, global land cover data set, uh, the so-called ESA world cover data set, uh, 2021, 2023, uh, 2020, 2020 and 2021. And if you look at the imagery in here, it's pretty nice. So you have a lot of data layers. And so this is where the map is showing uh, here. For example, 2021 maps, I think this is just a, a global land cover data set. You also have access to the original imagery, uh, including the Sentinel-1, imagery and also the NDVI, uh, different spectral bands. Okay, so this is the uh, global land cover. Again, this is based on um, the 10 meter resolution Sentinel-2 and also star data, uh, pretty nice. So if you're interested in looking at this one, I can also load the original uh, land cover data set uh, from this imagery. And if you if you find any base map that uh, you would like to be included on the list, you're welcome to submit a pull request here or uh, submit just a question on the GitHub repository, or you can submit a pull request. And then, so what we need is just a name where it's going to show up on the uh, browser panel on QGIS and the URL to the WMS map services, uh, the attribution, basically who is the provider, and then the um, max zoom level, I know the minimum zoom level. Uh, I just use all of them as 30, so they can zoom to the very high resolution, but you can customize it. So in this way, you have access to uh, over, I think, uh, you, you can take a look at all these specimen. I think overall they have, for the WMS, uh, it has over like 200 um, uh, uh, data layers available. And so for XYZ tiles, we also have over 100 plus specimen. So now you have over 300 specimen available uh, for you to choose. And you can start doing your project uh, without having to manually add those uh, um, data layers by yourself. For example, traditionally you have to go to add this one and then to retrieve and um, now you have just a couple of click, you have access to all the base map. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next video. Uh, take care. Bye bye.